It's time for some silly redstone ideas. I can't think of a video that has been more well requested than this one. You guys have been flying into my comments, you've been flying into my tweets, into my emails. I even received a carrier pigeon the other day. You all seem to really enjoy the silly redstone ideas series and I must admit, I've missed doing them. To be frankly honest, it's hilariously good fun. You guys come up with some ridiculous ideas and you definitely have not disappointed. This episode is totally ridiculous in the best possible way. So let's begin. This first one comes from YouTube member Adam Silverstone and he has requested a moaning Mona Lisa. So the mouth might open and she would moan. Now obviously the first challenge with this is that I actually have to accurately recreate the Mona Lisa in Minecraft, which I'll be honest, <laughs> I think I've done quite well. I mean, you know, I had Google images up, I had reference images and things. I would say I've absolutely nailed the smile. You know, that 100%. It's, it's basically, it's almost exactly the same thing. You know, while I was in the process of building this, sometimes I would get confused as to whether I was looking at the Google image of the Mona Lisa or if I was looking at the Minecraft build. So now that we've established that I've absolutely nailed the painting part, what about the moaning part? Well... <laughs> I mean, this is exactly the right level of daft. When I request silly redstone ideas, this is the sort of thing <laughs> that I hope to build. Sunrise has requested that I build the most inefficient farm possible. Now, I must admit, when I first saw this tweet, I knew I wanted to build it, but I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't want to do something boring, like just having the items harvested into lava. And I must say, what I eventually came up with, I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of. This system it's kind of genius in an incredibly stupid way. So if you just watch right here, the sugar cane grows, and when it grows to full height, all of the pistons in the farm fire, apart from the one that is next to the sugar cane. You know, the only piston that really needs to fire in this situation doesn't fire. But there was a problem. You know, if this piece of sugar cane grows, then that means that that other piece of sugar cane actually gets harvested. Well, we've fixed that problem with this little block of lava right here. So this truly is the most inefficient farm in Minecraft. Guinness World Records, my DMs are open. Angel has asked me to build a self-building bridge that then deconstructs itself as it goes along. I have my fingers very, very crossed at this point in time. All right, let's update this observer. Okay, our bridge is being constructed, so that's good. And we are getting TNT coming out of this dispenser. We're making use of the carpet mods. We have movable tile entities. Right, let's see. Does the bridge actually destroy itself? And does our machine get destroyed in the process? Okay. Well, it's... <laughs> I mean, it just des it destroys itself for the most part. It seems to leave the occasional piece of basalt, but now it's doing well. But now it's coming into its stride. There's no basalt left. This is pretty good. <laughs> I don't know why you'd ever want this. This is like the most pointless machine I've ever seen. But with that being said, it is quite satisfying to watch. I mean, yes, we might have left a handful of stepping stones, but you have to look at the real positive here, which is that our flying machine didn't blow up. I didn't even need to use my little netherite barrier here. Another one making use of the carpet mod, B Dog Brig, has asked me to build a nether portal 3x3 piston door. This one is genuinely a really cool redstone idea, and I try my best to keep it as compact as possible. This thing's only three blocks wide, and it mainly makes use of the same circuits as a regular 3x3 piston door. So if I close this thing, you can see it all closes up, and then we get ourselves a nether portal, and then when we open it, the nether portal has to be broken, and also the 3x3 piston door has to open up. And I gotta say, it is ridiculously satisfying, isn't it? Like, it is... It's beyond satisfying. This is another reason to have movable tile entities in Minecraft. It's definitely a niche reason, you know, it's not the first reason that I would think of, but it is a reason. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love watching this little dispenser right here pop down and then dispense the lava to make the nether portal disappear. I mean, there's just something... Ah, oh, I could watch this all day. I'm gonna stop myself from getting carried away. The Thieving Bard has asked me to build a machine that activates something somewhere, but you can never quite be sure where exactly. All right, let's do this. I mean, I've got, I've got this world right here and I have this lever and if I give it a flick, I mean, things happened. I'm not entirely sure what happened or or where it happened. And that is, is kind of the point. We'll never know what happened and we'll never be able to understand what happens. Yep, Finley Cameron has asked me to build a machine that throws items to another machine, which catches them and throws them back. You all know that I absolutely adore satisfying redstone contraptions and especially endlessly looping satisfying redstone contraptions. And this right here, 100% hits the sweet spot for me. This is, Honestly, I feel like a cat 
who's watching tennis on the TV. Like, I'm just... I'm constantly going back and forth. And I thought I would chuck an extra set of items in just to see if the system can handle it. And it can. It could definitely handle more items as well. But I just struggled to get the timing right. You know, it's I had to do it manually and I kept messing it up and they kept falling into the void and I kept getting frustrated. And that is not the sort of satisfying experience that I would expect from such a satisfying redstone contraption. So I kept it capped at two. This might affect my productivity for the rest of the day as I can feel myself frequently coming back to this world just to watch it. Silent Halion has asked me to build an endless hallway, a hallway that pushes you back as you try to get to the end with diamonds at the end. So here we are. Definitely not the best looking corridor I've ever constructed. I just want to say that straight off the bat, before the comments are filled with it, you know, I am well aware that this thing is an absolute monstrosity, but it is a functional monstrosity. As you can see, if I try and run and get these diamonds, these slime blocks, they just... They won't let it happen. What if I try and sneak up on it? I haven't actually tried this. Okay, well that's slightly less satisfying, but it still it still stops me from accessing the diamonds. Oh my goodness, it's killed me. Lycus Gaming 2552 has acknowledged the fact that I made an automatic flying machine builder. I created a redstone contraption that actually builds flying machines, and he's asked me to build an auto destructor. Now, as I'm sure most of you already know, it is considerably easier to destroy than it is to create. So here is my automatic flying machine construction device. If we hit this button up at the top right here, you can see all of the components for a flying machine are pushed into place and the flying machine takes off. So all of that had to happen. And the, the destruction part is, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot more simple to be honest with you. I mean, there it is. The flying machine is no more. I must admit, I am kind of curious. I want to put this into fully automatic mode. So we'll start launching flying machines out and there'll just be a bunch of them all immediately getting destroyed. I mean, it's totally pointless, 100% pointless. But that's the whole point of this series. It's all meant to be entirely po- Did that one get away? That one got away, it survived. How embarrassing. Oh, and that one has as well. Oh no! Oh wait, I spoke too soon. No, it, to it totally got blown up. After doing that speech at the start, talking about how it's so much easier to destroy than it is to create, I'm very good at creating these flying machines. I'm absolutely terrible at destroying them. This is embarrassing. Lucas Jesus has asked me to build squeaky inflatables that actually make a sound when you walk on them. I thought you would never ask. And... <laughs> I mean, I have a genuine question. When will this stop being entertaining for me? How old am I? You know, because I'm now 25 years old, I shouldn't find it as entertaining as I do. The fact that I have a resource pack that creates squeaky noises when you stand on inflatables. You know, this, this should not be as entertaining as it is, but yet it is. Forget all the builds I've done, all of the bases that I've made, the projects that I've worked on. I think this resource pack might be the best thing to have ever come out of Hermitcraft. Brian Lutz has asked me to build a machine that picks a random coloured sheep, shears it and delivers the wool to you for those times when you need wool but don't care what colour it is. This is definitely a sheep rights violation right here. I mean, this this is a nightmare. This is this is really, I feel actually a little bit guilty, but I mean, it, uh, it does seem to work. Look, I, I just got a little bit of green wool. You know, if we hit the button again, I got, I got a little bit of grey wool, you know, and then Got, got a bit of yellow wool. I mean, it's it's doing the job. It's it's doing a wonderfully good job. I'm actually impressed that that worked so well. It never normally works that well. Let's try it again. All right, let's see what we get this time. Got a little bit of green wool. I mean, how many different colours do I have in here? Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Surely I'm. I honestly can't believe that I haven't had a repeat yet. This is this is mad. What is going on? What is that? This is. It can't. It's done another colour! This is the best machine I've ever made! Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd broken the universe. And on that incredibly positive note, it's time to end. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of I Build Your Silly Redstone Ideas. I've missed doing this. I've really, really missed doing this. You know, I it's been it's been too long. I want to do these more often. So prepare for more of them in the future. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next video. See ya. So fun fact about the way that this video is being recorded right now. I am currently in my living room at my dinner table surrounded by cushions and things at half past midnight. That is my current recording setup while my house is being renovated. My office currently has no roof. The roof has fully been taken off. So yeah, not really habitable right now. So this is the best option I've got.